Okay. So the name of the game is Quick Tips for Masturbator. Uh, some of these things, some of you already know. Other things, uh, so other people don't know this. So I'm just going to go through it. So you're at an event and you find out last minute that, you know, there's a whole new group that needs to perform on the day. And you've already done the sound check. You've set everybody up. You're thinking, man, I need to set this group up, do a sound check. The event starts in 15 minutes. What do I do? Well, you've got a quick assign option over here. What this quick assign option lets you do is it lets you quickly assign items from here by dragging and dropping them to where you need them to be. So you can drag and drop. So say, for example, I wanted to change that to a bell. I can change that to a bell. Sorry, I can change that to a bell. And as you can see, straight away, it's got bell. Now I'm overriding some things that I'd already put in here before. So that's become a bongo. But you can see a hi-hat uh, symbol there. Let's see, what else do we have? Keys. Let's change that to keys. Um, what do we have? Lead vox. Let's change that to lead vox. As soon as you're done there, rather than having to come out, straight away you can go into the next section and it's got all the different items there. So what did we have here? Bell? Do we have a bell icon here? Okay, so we don't have a bell icon. That's fine. We can leave that as is. We can just come here, hit none, boom. Then you can see the word bell has jumped from there and it's come to somewhere where it can be more visible, which is pretty cool. You don't have to do anything to make it do that. It does it all on its own. Okay, we don't have anything for bongos, uh, so we'll leave that. I mean, we could use this as bongos, but it's really a tom. Uh, so we'll leave that, and we'll just hit none. We do have keyboard. So we've got a grand piano here, so we'll put grand piano. But there are, in fact, let's use an actual electric and keyboard. So we know that that's keys, keyboard, rather than piano. Okay, lead vocal. Uh, let's go with a female this time. Yep, lead vocal, done. Okay, so you can assign different things, and as you can see, it automatically routes things uh, to where they're the most visible. Straight into your colors. We want the vocals to be yellow. We want the keyboards to be this very weird kind of green color. Uh, we don't want the bongos to share the same color as the drums, and obviously we can't make them the same as the singers. What am I doing? There we go. What else do we have different? Yeah, bell. Bell can go with drums. It's fine. Okay, so quick assign, and you're done. You can literally set everything up ASAP with someone stood right next to you, get the guys on the stage, and get them sound checked ASAP. Um, another cool feature here um, is when you come into here, you've got your all your gains, and I know you can go into each individual channel like this, get into the channel, and use this to access your gain setting, your phantom power, uh, your source, um, and you can assign it to different areas from here. But once you've done that, that's just one channel. You'll have to go into the next channel and do the same thing, increase all the eff effects and everything. However, if you um, utilize the quick uh, function that we looked at earlier on, sorry where you come underneath here and use the quick assign feature you can do multiple channels uh, simultaneously one of the other cool things I wanted to point out is I took this picture with my tablet uh, which is a uh, a Huawei Android tablet obviously you can clearly see here I'm working on a MacBook uh, or uh, some sort of Apple device it's actually a MacBook Pro it's a laptop and this MacBook um, obviously didn't take this picture but because I've gone into the show where I took the picture that picture remains and it's right there for you to utilize even though this isn't the device that took that picture so as long as you take the picture within master fader it'll store it there uh, if you take the picture obviously on your device then you'll have to recall uh, that picture from your device and if you're not using the same device then you're not going to have that but as I said, quick assign. Someone else could be on the stage taking all the pictures of the different individuals uh, whilst you're stood next to the, the person who's coming last minute and, tell, and they're telling you what they have uh, last minute and you're in the quick assign and you're setting everything up really quick. And this is one of the things I appreciate about what Mackie have done with Master Fader. 
Um, I think it's ab absolutely brilliant. And obviously you can set all your gains up straight away from this page rather than having to do that from the channel, which is what I did. Obviously I'm lowering it here. Um, so that's that's quick my quick tip uh, for today. Now I know some of you already knew this stuff, but there are people out here that don't know this stuff. So it's good to share. And that's how we all learn and build a, a decent community. All right. I will speak to you guys in the next video.